I'm Loop TV, this is Red Fox. I'm here with my friend DJ Medi. Yo. Your music career has been you've had a long career at this point. Yeah, it's it's not necessarily uh, it, people don't really know it because it was mainly in France, but I've been a hip hop producer since uh, 1994 or 1995 and I had a band in France and uh, when I jumped on the uh, when I like when Pedro BZP became my manager, then it became a little more popular worldwide and stuff but uh, yeah I, I had another career before this one it's true what is the uh, what was the name of the van just so some people might not even know or do you want them to know I, I had yeah I mean you know it's part of my life my band from when I was 15 like from 1992 to like 2000 or 1999 it was called Ideal J and uh, the sister band to this one which I was doing the production for also and which was a, a little more popular. It was 113, 113. And uh, yeah, we, we, ha we have a couple of gold or, or platinum plaques at home and stuff like that from that's that crazy. era, 98, 99. Cool, man, that, that's, that's an accomplishment. And then, you know, of course, everyone knows you're slaying it with Ed Banger. So um, speaking of which, do uh, you have new releases coming out? Have you, have you been able to work on music on tour? Well, that's the thing, you know, touring so much, it doesn't leave enough time that I would want to work on some new music. Last record that I released was the uh, uh, track called Pocket Piano. It was released in uh, December, on December 10th, uh, with a couple of remixes and stuff like that. And um, next release on Ed Banger would be a compilation of my remixes, of my best remixes, in September out on Ed Banger. It's called Red, Black and Blue. Uh, you know, I've been doing remixes a lot. Like instead of right. instead of like doing stuff on my own. I did uh, CSS, Senti Gold, I did uh, Buster Rhymes. How did that come about? That's record company stuff, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't really have a good interesting story to tell, except that I've been given like a three days deadline. Oh wow. Yeah, so, to, so they just gave me a three days deadline and they didn't give me a feedback before like a month right. or so, so I thought it was dead already, I thought that they didn't choose to use my remix. So. I leaked it on my own blog, saying, hey, I did this race for Buster One that wasn't picked up. Right. And then they called me like maybe a week after saying, hey, guess what? We love it. We're going to use it. Wow. <laughs> so I took it off my blog and now it's out on Motown and I'm quite proud here. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, mate. Well, for the Electro Kids uh, and your, your Ed Banger fans out there, um, What's, can you share a little bit of what's what's coming up with the label in general? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and I only speak for Pedro right here, because um, next uh, up on Ed Banger would be the Afi album. Afi has almost finished her album. She worked a lot. She's been like two years in the making with Mr. Wazo, Feeds, and Miaways. Uh And next is going to be Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian's okay. album's almost finished, and from what I heard, it's going to be like amazing, amazing. Uh, as far as uh, EPs are concerned, next EPs, uh, Feeds just released one EPs, and next one I think is uh, BZP. Yeah. Awesome, there you go, there's a rundown. You got some inside information there. Is there anything you want to leave anyone with? Peace. We'll leave it at that, Red Fox, Medi.